You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online streaming around the world at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. This is the Midday Show, and I am super excited to have one of my favorite Icelandic bands live in studio today. Maybe one of the best bands I've ever seen live, period. Welcome, Fufanu. Yeah!
Live in the KEXP studios with Fufanu, and they are playing KEXP's Reykjavik Calling event tomorrow night, a free show at Numo's. Very excited to have them here today. Wow, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us.
Fufanu live on KEXP, one of the most exciting live bands I've seen in a long time. I'm actually out of breath just from watching you perform. <laughs> it's so great to have you here in Seattle. Thank you for having us here in Seattle. Um, I discovered your band in 2014, only two years ago, and I could not see you enough that year. And last year I got to see you more in Iceland. But you've been doing this for a while, and Cactus, I know you and Guli started as a duo. Can you tell me how the band came together and grew to this formation? Mm. And I'm curious also how your sound evolved, because you're... A rock band, for sure. You can't really pinpoint your sound. There's a lot of really interesting electronics going through there as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the band came to this just because we were yeah, pushing ourselves like further, uh, going from the electronic up, trying to put more live elements into it. And yeah, here we are, just always searching for new adventures in music. I think that's the reason why, why we sound or why we have this sound, but not something different. It's just, yeah, trying to do something exciting. It seems like your influences come from all over. You just squeeze a sponge and everything that you come in contact with, whether it's music that's new, music that's old, life experience. Does it feel like you're drawing from your everyday life for this music, or are you just sort of mining everything you come in contact with? I think it has more to do like with everything that you come to contact with, uh, if I understand you right. I think it's just, yeah, uh, lyrically at least, it's just life happens and life brings you something and you decide to give life something different instead. And yeah, that's music for me. I've read in numerous interviews that you, as a band, play music because you love it and you play it for yourself and however and you've even said if just one person in the audience you know stays and gets into it then we're happy but you have a an amazing ability to connect with the audience and I have to think that you of course play for yourself and to please yourself but connecting with the audience seems like such an integral part to what you do because it's part theater and part music as well are you just channeling something and you can't keep from doing what you're doing? Or is the audience part of it for you? Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, I think it's just more that it happens. I mean, we've had shows where I've, I haven't got any connections. I think none of us has any connections to none in the crowd, just like the gig in Hamburg, for example, uh, <laughs> where we actually thought someone was killed on stage before we came on stage. It was so serious. Uh, but I think it just happens on stage. Like, you just feel the energy that people are, are willing to participate. And if people are willing to participate, then it's just great to, like, welcome them. I'm thinking that show in Hamburg, it just must have been their way to just stand there quietly because it's just impossible, I think, not to be moved by the music and the performance that you put on. And to see you perform live is really, to me, such an incredible experience. I mean, you especially cactus just all over the place. I've seen you climbing and hanging on things and mm -hmm. um, very menacing with the audience at times, but, you know, a smile as well. And it makes me curious to know what the recording of music is like, because I don't imagine Cooley that he's strutting around the studio when you're writing songs or recording them. Is that a full band process? And might you be sitting still during that? <laughs> I'm not quite, quite still, but, uh, but I, like in the studio, I, much per, I, I prefer to have handheld mic, for example, but no, I'm really still in the studio, just it's chilled. Uh, yeah, it's just... Just different energy. When you get on stage, you just can't hold yourself back. Yeah, I'm so, so <laughs> open-minded, so o open heart. Well, you're definitely one of those bands that I can't see enough, and I'm excited to see you tomorrow night. You'll be at Numos playing the Reykjavik Calling event, and yes. tonight you're going to be uh, doing something in our gathering space. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I'm not going to miss it. No, I think we have a slight idea what we are doing tonight probably just a bit better idea what we're doing than you. Okay, so a couple opportunities to see Fufanu tonight here in KEXP's Gathering Space and tomorrow night at Numos, both of those events free. And we really thank you for making the trip to Seattle. It's always so fun to see you. It's great to be here. And you've got, actually, you started off with a brand new song. Yes. That's not even coming out until next year. No, I mean, the, oh, the track is out. The track is out, called Sports. Uh, and there's the... Uh, yeah, title track from the album that's out in January. But the next song is also brand new, uh, called Bad Rockets. So maybe you should just do Bad Rockets. Take it away, it's Fufanu live on KEXP.
Fufanu live on KEXP, a song from an upcoming album, Sports. It'll be out next year. And they've also got a record called Few More Days to Go.
Live in the KEXP studios with Fufanu playing tomorrow night at Numo's, a free show. It's Reykjavik calling, and they'll also be in our gathering space tonight. That event starts at 6 p.m. So great always to see you. I already look forward to seeing you again. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. You never disappoint. Great. <laughs> Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.